hi guys and welcome along out with RB today we're going to be riding this this is the Yadia G5 so just getting a look at the front of the bike we're just going to work around what we do we'll get the camera out in a minute and get up close and personal show you some of the functions on this bike I do like these the nice high LED indicators to the top and you've got that full set of LED lights down the bottom on that and that light bar as well when the bike lights up just working around the bike just having a quick look we will get up close and personal on this shortly but just to have a good look of the aesthetics of this bike for an electric scooter it does look very very good so what we're going to do switch over to the second camera on this one and we're going to get up close and personal get this out and have a little bit of a road test on this one so here we go then guys getting up close and personal so just to have a quick look getting up close on those indicators all LED on this one and just moving down the bike You've got a nice set of lights there and a light bar to the bottom. That's not going to be missed at night. Working down the side of the bike, you've got your pillion foot pegs that are placed just at the bottom here. Just pop those out. Very, very easy for your pillion passenger just to get in. And then if you happen to notice, the electric motor is built into the wheel on the back of this one. It's moving down the side. And you've got your side stand there and of course your pillion pegs again so when you fire the bike up so what we're going to do first is just turn the key that pops the seat up have a look under the seat under there you've got your charger and you've got enough to get a full face helmet in there your on off switch for the power for the battery and just at the back pop that key second lock which undoes your battery compartment here so that's your battery you can take that out and charge it or you have a little charging port there so you can leave the battery on the bike plug your charger in job done so what we're going to do we're going to start this one up so that will run through its display functions goes into park mode what you need to do press the park hold the front brake and that brings up your time your mileage how many miles you've got left on the bike speed battery and your amps along the bottom functions on this one down the bottom you've got your parks and your modes for eco and sport just above that your position lights and your main lights hazards and on your left hand controls just at the top you've got the main beam just under that the indicators and to the bottom standard functions you have the horn and the one thing I do like it has the obligatory bag clip plenty of storage at the front so you plenty of room there two nice storage pockets at the front just to get all your bits and pieces your gloves or put your mobile phone in there and then just check this out the pillion seat has a backrest and a nice big grab handle I do like big grab handles for the passenger so ideal thing if you happen to be having a motorhome and you want to take this away is 30 mile an hour on this one being electric so what we're going to do we're going to get this out on the road and have a little bit of fun so we're going to take a seat on this I say main stand and side stand on this one now you've got two different functions on this you have the eco and then just click it up you've also got the power mode eco has got loads of power to it doesn't take it long to get up to 30 mile an hour and obviously being electric it is very very silent now the one thing I do like about these obviously there is no engine braking so as soon as you roll off the throttle your speed is still continuing and that is the one appeal that I do like about these electric bikes. Now the seat on this is lovely and wide, but just check out how good this low speed handling is on this. Even with one hand off the bars, the low speed handling is very, very good on these electrics, but it doesn't take it long just to zip itself up to 30 mile an hour. And obviously you're gonna get your haters that go, oh yeah, but it's only 30 mile an hour. My petrol bike does 30 mile an hour. Yes, but an electric, it's not going to cost you any fuel it's not going to cost you any road tax either and the best thing is eco-friendly keeps your carbon emissions down so as I say it looks like the future is going to be electric but quick count so one two three four five six about six seconds now if you uh, saw the echo ride that we did it takes about 12 seconds for the echo 50 to get up to 30 mile an hour 
and obviously on these you do it in half the time it does get there a lot quicker and it obviously in town on those 30 mile an hour roads that is going to get you out of trouble with cars not waiting for you to get up to speed but very very easy display on this nice big 29 mile an hour in the middle you're not going to miss what speed you're doing it only does 30 now the impulse and the cipher can be de-restricted and there is a video coming in the next couple of days I have been given the tech spec how to unrestrict the cipher and how to unrestrict the impulse so we're going to be doing a full speed run on those and just showing you what I can get and how quick I can deplete the batteries now obviously when we started this at the workshop now I've done exactly one mile so far I was at 44 miles I'm still at 42 so it's not that bad obviously they reckon the average range on this depending on the road conditions whether it's uphill downhill or on the flat and the weight of the rider is around about 35 to 40 that is an average but it does obviously change on, dependent on the road conditions and the weight of the rider and the one thing I did like about these is the audible warning you get when you've got the indicators on and I am a bit of a, a lad for forgetting that I've got my indicators on especially if I'm out on other bikes but with that audible warning you're not going to miss it and just cruising along on the dual carriageway now most of the roads in Milton Keynes are all dual carriageways so they are 60 mile an hour roads but if you've got a scooter most of the bicycles and the scooters all go down these dual carriageways and obviously this is a lot faster than someone on a bicycle so never an issue tyres on it are very very good and the braking on it is absolutely super crisp really pulls you up and those mirrors I would say I've got a hundred percent view in those mirrors I've got absolutely zero shoulder in that mirror at all so very very wide view of the road behind me but as I always say keep your shoulder checks on guys never ever trust the mirror I tend to have a cursory glance in my mirror and then do my shoulder checks if I happen to be moving or switching lanes but just roll off the throttle there we go and I am still sitting at full speed you don't need to hold that throttle on full time coming into these uh, corners so that is going to be saving you a little bit of the power on that motor under my favourite bridge unfortunately I can't rev bomb but this is a sweet little ride and obviously if you happen to be uh, an older person that's uh, got a motorhome or you just want something to uh, pop to the shops ideal no fuel needed servicing is a lot cheaper on these and no road tax you still have to apply for your road tax but zero tax on these every year but you still have to apply for your tax as you would any normal vehicle but it is free of charge on your road tax being an electric vehicle now down to 39 miles so it's working out about right I'm three miles in 39 plus 3 42 so it's very very spot on and obviously you've got your amps running along the bottom there just tells you uh, how much power you're using and I tend to just roll off about 100 yards before and I'm still doing 28 mile an hour with no power quick cursory shoulder check switch lanes but the braking on this super crisp now the only difference is obviously the impulse has regen on it this one hasn't or I don't see a little fuel gauge coming up when you uh, obviously uh, hit the brakes I may be wrong but check out the technical spec I tend to just ride them I tend not to do a lot of technical spec I leave that to you guys to go in have a look if it's for you check out the tech spec but we're still at 85% charge and if I was using this just to obviously potter across the city just to uh, go to work or whatever ideal park it out of work take your battery out take it in the office everybody has a plug socket near their desk just charge your battery up take it out pop it in the bike job done uh, use someone else's electric don't use your own it saves you even more money but just check out the low speed handling that I'm doing three mile an hour and I've not got my feet down two mile an hour and I'm just rolling on the throttle to a stop so it is very very good at low speed and then just 
you can hear that audible warning it's telling you the indicator is on absolutely lovely Unfortunately, the future is going to be electric. There's a lot of electric bikes coming out at the moment, and Lexmoto have got some really good ones at the moment. Obviously, a lot more money, but when you actually consider your standard 50cc has a year's warranty on it, and you're going to have to service that 300k in and every thousand kilometres. So, if you're doing uh, 4,000 a year, you're going to be looking at least 500 quid in servicing costs plus your petrol plus your road tax electric zero tax zero petrol in it very very minimal servicing there's not a lot to service on these apart from the motor the brakes and just a quick bolt check no tappets to adjust no engine oil to change and the best bit again you get a two year warranty on these I think it's two years or three years warranty on these and a lot longer on the battery so even better when it comes to warranty on one of these electric bikes just check out uh, obviously the warranty conditions and the battery but absolutely lovely and just pottering around town I don't know, I've got up to 30 mile an hour now I'm in eco mode what I am going to do in a second is shift it up into power mode and let's just see timing it out how quick I can get up to 30 in the power mode well, obviously if you've been watching a lot of my videos and a lot of subscribers do thank you very much for every uh, like comment and subscribe that you do on these but keep an eye out that cypher video is going to come out I'm going to get that cypher out as loads I think about 20 or 30 people have said you promised this months ago when are you going to get the cypher out when are you going to do a full speed run it is coming this week guys hopefully in the next couple of days i have been literally swamped at the bike garage i'm doing a lot of live streams at the moment so my time is very very limited especially with editing at home and actually doing servicing and getting out on bikes now if you happen to see the lxr video we took the lxr out friday the first ride test in the country thanks to the boys from lex Modo for getting that bike out really really quick to me to review um, that is up on my YouTube channel and I think it's around about just over 2,000 views in a couple of days So thank you very much everyone that's uh, watched that video I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for the thumbs up And for all those that thumbs down, thank you very much Even if you thumbs down it meant you've still watched the video. You've still clicked like. Thank you very much <laughs> So what we're going to do Here we go up into power mode and get the power on so one two three four and it's a little bit quicker there's not much of a difference but obviously you would use the power mode if you were climbing a hill round town keep it in the eco save your battery job done and i do like that big display as i said i love a big virtual display in front of me it's literally like someone strapped an iPad on this bike. Very, very easy to read. But absolutely lovely. So I'm going to make our way back to the garage. As always, leave your comments in the section down below. Let me know what you think of electric bikes. Whether it's a be for you or whether you prefer your petrol bikes with a noisy engine. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And of course, for the next video, hit that notifications bell. That will tell you when the next video is coming up. Hopefully, later on today, I shall get a couple of videos up. I normally do about three or four a week. Audible indicator again. So just heading back to the garage, guys, on the Yadia G5 from Lexmoto. As always, you can give the bike sales team a call, and they are on the link down the bottom www.eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk telephone number 01908 643 603 and until the next time from RB be well ride safe and as always it's a big goodbye from me